All right, let's um let's pivot to one more thing. I want to do uh, a little Brock and Lance uh, chat here before we get off the uh, the call here. Um, so basically, you guys tell me what your opinion is and and how you see what do you like the values of where they're at currently? What what would you trade them for? Are you selling one or the other? You know, just kind of the whole. You know, we start with we can start with the Purdy side and then we'll go to the Lance side. What do I think Purdy's value is in Dynasty? He, I went, honestly, uh, he went 10 2 in this one. That's so that's about where I've seen, I he started to creep up into like the eighth round, seventh round. I don't freaking know, man. Like, I think this is a lot of ambiguity in terms of they've got three QBs, they like all of them, or a different part of the organization likes each one of them in a certain way. I, I think you've seen it a lot with the quarterbacks, though, in the Shanahan system that they can just come in and produce. Like, not only, I mean, the team that is built around him and the system that is built around him is incredible. Now that said, when you look at what he's done numerically, I mean, like statistically not bad at all. And, and obviously him being able to win games is huge. So you have to, you know, it obviously poses the question, is he going to be the starting QB in San Francisco next year? Which by the way is not confirmed. I mean, there's a guy that says he thinks it's going to happen, but they're never going to make that decision right now. So I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be buying Purdy necessarily. I am taking him in startups because I think I can get out of Purdy for more than what I got in him for. So right yeah. now, and, and I don't think that, but I don't think that point is here yet. Like I'm not right now to me, if you have Purdy, he's a hold. Like I think there is still value increases to happen for him. So if you have him again, I think, I think all the off season speculation, I don't think the 49ers are going to make a hard QB decision unless they do something out of the ordinary, like trade Trey Lance. I right. think one of those two Trey Lance of or Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get traded. And I, but I, I think Purdy is going to be a guy that stays with the 49ers for, you know, one, he's obviously proved himself to be in the running for the starting quarterback competition next year, but two, he's a guy on a rookie deal and they're going to be able to keep him for cheap. So I think he's going to be there. I think his value is going to get higher. I wouldn't be buying him. So what, what would I pay for him? Like I'm definitely not shipping off a fur for Brock Purdy right now. Yeah, like, I think I'm, that's I'm holding, holding Purdy for sure right now. I think there's still, I mean, I think his value is going to be very dependent on how he does these last two games. And it's crazy that his value is game by game right now. But I mean, that's just the, the, the reality of a six round pick. And, and with, with the amount of draft capital investment that they have in Trey Lance, can they absolutely move him? For sure. Um, it, especially if they go to the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy, who's just looked straight better. If Purdy, than wins, a Bowl, if Purdy like, wins a Super Bowl. Purdy wins a Super Bowl. I might, I might be, I don't I might be all in. <laughs> I, I might be I all might in. Keep him, Mike. And yeah, and with Lance, same thing is going to go with Lance. I still think Lance is a good value because if he doesn't pan out in San Francisco, if he goes somewhere else, but this story is going to happen again because you know whoever takes Trey Lance, if it's not San Francisco, is taking Lance because they need a QB. And you're going to see training camp videos going up where, you know, Trey Lance is throwing the ball to DJ Moore. Like, oh, look at this. This is going to be awesome. And, you know, if you really believe in that, fine, you do you. But honestly, I'd be punting there and, and, and trying to get that um, net positive value on him. When you invest in him now going into mid to late third, he's probably going to start inching into the second again, which is crazy to say, but he, he will. He just will. I think he's going to maintain he his value one very well one. here. So right on the yeah. cost, he's 3-1 there. That's so not... Would you tra- would you tra- so you're, you wouldn't trade a first for Lance either? Um, I think I'd give a late first for Lance right now. Like, I, I think there was a guy that commented on one of our videos and was like, I, I traded the 111 for Lance. And I, I actually liked that. Like when I thought about it, I mean, look at, but look at where he's That's going. Fine. Yeah. Look That's at where he's main. going in startups. He's going between like the 104 and 105. So it, I mean, from a value perspective alone, absolutely. I'm trading like anything past the 106, 107 for Trey Lance for a couple of reasons. Trey Lance is kind of a different animal because of the level of team investment they have in him. With Purdy, I mean, they can ship them off or, or just sit them, and they're not out anything. Like, they've got, they're in a good situation where they've got multiple talented quarterbacks. The difference with Trey Lance is they, you know, traded the farm to get him. So he's got that team investment. They're not just going to, if they're going to trade him and, and roll with Purdy, he's going somewhere for a good price and he's going somewhere to start. At least the like, first round pick. Exactly. I know, I know, exactly. that, I know for a fact that there are league executives and league scouts that are still plenty high on Trey Lance and that believe in his ability to produce as an NFL QB. So with Lance, you know, he's going to get another shot. And I think to me, he's a buy because, you know, he is going to get another shot. 
He is going to probably spike in value at one point or another for whatever reason. And because of that, I think I can buy him now. And if I have to, if I really don't believe in him, I can sell him later. I guess you could, you could ride. I don't know what to think of Trey Lance. He hasn't played foot, like organized football consistently in three years. Yeah. This, right. this is this thing with Lance. I just, this is one of the things where I have to separate my personal opinion of Lance from my market value opinion of Lance. And to be completely honest, I am totally out on Lance as an NFL QB. I think he's garbage. I think he had every opportunity in one of the most QB friendly offenses with the best QB debatably in the NFL and Shanahan. He had every opportunity to be good right off the bat. And he just wasn't, I get that he's raw. I get that he hasn't played real football since 2019. To me, it doesn't matter when it comes to like, you looked at what they invested in him in the NFL and what he did from a performance standpoint off the bat and Purdy, a six round pick comes in and out produces that by light years like that's that's embarrassing and and for me i think san fran has seen enough and i think they'll let him go are other people in thinking that in dynasty no that's why i'm still willing to invest in him is because people will remain will remain high on trey lance for for a while yeah yeah i I think it's a it's a it's a tough but great situation for the Niners, you know, but it's, you know, how how do you make the right decision? I have I have no idea. I don't envy you in that position. It's not certainly not. There's there's teams like the Colts who would love to be in this position Um, that, you know, we got. I'm not sure that you have two quarterbacks necessarily, but you know, you might, (laughs) you know, you might have one, you know, I I don't know. Um, So you know, I, I find it interesting. I guess I would be in on, on Lance because of kind of what you guys said it, for a first round pick. Like I think both in the NFL draft and in this, in, in dynasty rookie super flex drafts, you know, the quarterback position is, you know, it's a lot of yeah, buts this year too. Like last year it kind of was, you haven't had too many opportunities to really, you know, get a difference maker at quarterback, maybe in your super flex leagues over the last two years. If you, I think Bryce Young's great, but there is a little bit of a yeah, but there, um, I think CJ Stroud's, you know, probably going to be pretty good, but is there a yeah, but there, and then you get the Levis and Richardson and there's a whole bunch of yeah, buts there. So, you know, there may be some, some NFL teams for, as far as, you know, that, that would be willing to pay, you know, a mid first round pick to get their hands on Trey Lance. And if, you know, if the 49ers could do that and then trade back again, I, I think that might be something that they would be interested in. And in a, in an actual super flex situation i think anything after you know i don't know i'm I'm not far enough into it to confidently say the line where i would put that um but you know i think you said one six maybe or you know one eight range you know i don't if lance was a quarterback to be drafted this year would he be the one two you think he'd be drafted i think he'd go top i think he'd go top six I mean, with that draft capital in the real draft or the or the rookie or in the dynasty rookie. Oh, draft. I'm talking about dynasty drafts. My bad. Right. Were you talking about the NFL draft? Yeah. yeah. He's talking about would he or be the either one, really. either one really? Yeah, I think he would be. I think really? I, there's a lot. There's a lot no that way. has to shake out. So I, don't, I think there's a lot we don't know about these quarterbacks oh. yet. I think NFL teams are going to be okay. a little bit more skeptical with Bryce Young because of its size. Like I, I, you've seen it time and time again when when NFL teams are evaluating these players, they do not like outliers. And Bryce Young, just there is no other way to put it. Bryce Young would have to be an outlier if he's successful in the NFL. The only other guy that's done it at that size and that's that slow is Drew Brees. And do I really believe in Bryce Young to put him in that conversation yet? No, I don't. So, so for me, I think there is going to, I think I predict this is personal. I think Stroud is going to end up being the first QB taken. I think there are question marks with Stroud's game. I think there's less question marks. But with Lance, I mean, with what people thought of Lance when he was drafted, I, I don't doubt. And what the 49ers are a good, good organization. Like, I mean, they've got a fantastic front office. And for them to think that highly of Lance, I think somebody would have thought that highly of him this year. And, and I think there's question marks with every QB. And Lance was just too good for them to pass up. I don't know, though, but, but, but like AR is more athletic than Lance. AR has a stronger arm than Lance. And AR, granted, is, I would even say, a bit more raw than Lance. But... I mean, all of his physical tools and athletic tools are better than Lance, and he's not really going. I don't. He's I, not being mocked. There is a there is a lot about Lance though that is a lot better than AR coming out of college. Like I mean, as a passer, especially the pa- I mean, p- particularly the passing game. I mean, you're looking at Anthony Richardson. Obviously, he's able to process reads and stuff fairly decent, but in terms of accuracy, in terms of consistency, and ter- and stuff like that, that's stuff that Trey Lance had in college, and he produced at an extremely high level. For, I know, but that's the thing though. Is it, it was for one season in D two. 
but, but it clearly didn't matter. Like it was never about that. It was always about what, what Trey Lance is as a polished product. He's a lot more polished than Anthony Richardson is. Oh, I'm not, I think, I'm I think not it's debating, I don't, I, don't I think that's apples no. and oranges. I don't think, I, I don't think Trey Lance, I, I, that says more about Anthony Richardson, I think, than it does Trey Lance, but I, I, I don't know, top three for sure. Uh, maybe top two. It just depends on what this, again, it depends on how the combine shakes out and what the NFL thinks of Bryce Young, but yeah, potentially. Yeah. I, I, I think he'd be up there for sure. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think the Niners, what I suspect will happen is that, you know, Purdy, I, I don't think they know what they have with Lance. I think they like the idea of Lance and I think they really like the idea of taking they're already so multiple at every position the idea of lance is just being multiple pretty much at every position now you can't just defend you know purdy is even harder to defend than garoppolo because there is an escapability and a movability now if you could times that by 10 and get that that's what you were hoping to get from lance like not only escapability but big playability in the rushing side um, yeah. plus you know there is a big arm there we, we don't know if he can read the field or not you, you said he's played a lot. I, I, he basically played in the monsoon game versus the, versus the Bears, and the next game he broke his ankle. Um, so, you know, I, he played I a little bit the week played before. A lot, a lot. No. Yeah. yeah. He played I don't think some he played year before. They, they, ran, they ran him, you know, they, they were kind of running a weird system with him because I don't think they necessarily trusted him either. They were kind of running a lot of, you know, quarterback powers and, and weird – runs with him and he, he wasn't he was kind of taking the josh allen approach where i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna shy away from this like i'm a big i'm a big guy so i think the niners get a chance to reset the rookie contract here with purdy you get two extra years of nothing yeah. you got a guy who you know hey if he, he took us this far let's go into the season and see what we can do with him and then shit you know I'm never going to begrudge a franchise for trading away capital to go, you know, all you hear every single fucking week is, you know, everybody, oh, well, we got to get rid of, we got to upgrade to it because Josh Allen's in the division. Oh, we got to get this guy because Patrick Mahomes is in the AFC, Burroughs in the AFC. This guy, Everybody wants one of these like top five quarterbacks. So why not just go forward with Purdy? And then in two years, if it isn't working out or if in, even in a year you see it's not working out, do the same thing. Take that capital, take three firsts and go get aggressive again because you've proved that your front office, you can hit on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth round players. And you've, you've been doing it consistently. Um, and then, you know, you go through and make a trade like Christian McCaffrey. And then they got all sorts of compensatory picks back for getting they get literally tell me another franchise that gets their D.C. and O.C. taken basically every th single season. Um, which is the Niners, and they keep just coming back and doing what they're doing. Um, you know, so I would assume that Purdy kind of moves forward as their guy, and maybe they try to get some equity back with Lance, and then why not just repeat that process all over again? That's that's I think that's the way I would kind of play that as a franchise. Um, yeah, I mean, if that's true, then Purdy is a huge buy. I, he just is. Like, I, and I don't think that's because he's like going to be a crazy – you know, fantasy asset. I don't think it's because he's going to be, you know, like elite in that aspect, but I mean, he's going to be a starting quarterback, like, and he's going in the ninth round and he's young. Like he has potential to have a longer career because he's only 23 because we haven't seen a lot from him yet. I, I, I think with Lance, there's, it's, I'm at a point where I'll buy with Purdy. I think it's just too early. I think, I think I just have to see what his value does. If it goes way up, I might be willing to sell. If it goes, if it doesn't go up, I might just be willing to buy into him. Like I just, I think I'm willing to see kind of how the 49ers season ends and how the recency bias affects what people are thinking of its value in dynasty. So that's kind of, that's kind of my thought process. I think I'll have a better idea of all that. Like three weeks from now, I, I think honestly. I'm going the opposite with Purdy is that I think it, there's, I don't think there's that many ways that he isn't a starter one way or another, whether it's on the Niners or they trade him and keep Lance. Like, I'm not sure that you want to go. I mean, I guess you could go into next season with a safety net of saying, Hey, we got Lance and Purdy, but like, why not maximize on on your potential? And and I think you get rid of Lance, get some equity back. And then, you know, I think his, it's almost insulated. Like right now he's in the 10th or 9th round. Like he goes somewhere else. His value probably isn't going to go any lower than that. And I think he seems like he's a decent player. We keep waiting for him to suck. And you say, you know, they're every, you know, Anybody can play in the system and be productive. They're scoring 30 points per game with with Brock. They weren't scoring 30. I like Jimmy. I'm a big Jimmy guy. I think J all Jimmy does is win. I don't think he's the best quarterback, but I think Jimmy's a good player. Um, I think he get, takes a bad rap. I think I he can, Jimmy can go somewhere else and be good. He's a free agent. He's not really in this mix here. Um, 
you know, but Jimmy was not scoring 30 points a game with this same supporting cast. So, yes, you can plug anybody in there, but there is something going on here with with Brock and the chemistry and, and knowing how to run this scheme. And I think the escapability just on top of that to just extend plays where the you, it's just a lot of big crossers and the yak is is, you know, what this system is run on. Um, and that just gives you even more opportunity for that with with the playmakers around you. You probably have at least another two or three year window. Of you know you got to get Bosa signed up, but if if you got the the Purdy contract, you can get Bosa and all these other guys signed up. You got Debo signed up. You can get Ayuk signed up. You can keep Christian McCaffrey for the next two years. You know you can. You, I don't know how long Trent Williams is going to be elite for, but you know they they do a good job of just kind of rebuilding that offensive line when it when it needs to be kind of retooled. Um, so you know I, I guess any any second for Purdy, I think I'm buying it, I'm buying into. W- w- is that is that fair for you guys, or are you still saying uh, like, no? A second a round pick? Second. Yeah. Absolutely, I'll buy Purdy for that. That's I, that's not enough. It, it's a first that I just couldn't do right now, but a second, that's absolutely worth the risk. I, I mean, from a, I think from an organizational standpoint, like you said, I think it makes the most sense for them to roll with Purdy. I, I, I totally agree. And, you know, not to mention, I mean, they, they did give up some significant draft capital on next year's draft to go get CMC. I mean, they could right. use some they but could they, use so they, some picks to reload. They could use those picks, but they also, like, go check their compensatory picks. for. They get compensatory picks for Sala, McDaniel, um, their, their uh, player personnel, pro player personnel scouting is now the GM for the uh, Titans. Okay. So, like, I, I think they get, like, thirds for all those guys. And I think for being my okay. – all those guys are minorities – so I think they get even more compensatory picks for them being minorities. I'm not Dang. 100% sure. But so all of a sudden, they kind of rebuilt like the middle of this draft by just losing guys. Um, it You know, very... <laughs> They're very, a unit, uh, man. What's that? They're a unit. Like organizationally, front office, Lynch is awesome. Shanahan is a beast. I mean, they are it. Like I, I wouldn't be... It, there is not a single year that goes by where I wouldn't be surprised if they won the Super Bowl. So, so I, is, it a, I, is it a two for you over there, uh, Nate? You good with Brock I for can't, it too? I or? can't fight it. He he's a he's a QB that's proven he can play at a high level in the NFL with all the tools imaginable in an offense. So I mean, we have, we have to practice what we preach. We like QBs. We're on QBs. We want QBs. A second for a QB. Yeah, we'll take that. What if you had to give yeah, up like Rodgers, Rodgers, and a two, like a declining quarterback yeah. asset and a two? Yes, I would do that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think there's a ton of ways that you totally okay. lose out, and not to mention Rogers in a two. You're not. I mean, yeah. In terms of, AD, of in terms of ADP, that's a massive overpay. Um, but again, it, like you said, you're going for you're going for the ceiling there, and the hopes that Brock Purdy is going to go way up in ADP after this postseason. Which, I mean, if I were to predict, I think I think the Niners go to the Super Bowl. I think they do the Eagles when they go to the Super Bowl. So it, this this conversation will be really interesting. To look back at it a year. Yeah, I, I am yeah, I'm well, super interested to see how this all shakes out. Because yeah, I mean, yeah. it really is. <laughs> This is a fairly one of a kind situation. Yeah, I mean, so. this is like a Geno situation, but Rock Purdy's like a rookie. They have, I mean, they have three guys <laughs> right. that they can start. Honestly, like th- three quarterbacks. We we yeah. are Colts fans. We have Nick Foles and Sam <laughs> Ellinger. Like I, I don't. I I, I highly envy the forty. How's that possible? Like, yeah. yeah, but we'll see, man. I, I I think it could go a lot of different ways, but I think either way you look at it, I think you're right. You've kind of convinced me a little bit more that Purdy's a fairly decent investment. And I think, yeah. I think Lance is too. I, Lance I, is, absolutely. And I think is. even Jimmy G, if you're getting him in like the 20th round, which you can right get now, him. Get him. why not? He'll be a starting QB. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, somebody, I mean, he goes, Josh McDaniels is out there. The Raiders are going to look like they need one. I mean, that seems to make too much sense. You know, I, fuck, you put Jimmy G on the Jets. They're a fucking competing team. I mean, yeah. you know. So th- there's there's a market out there. There's going to be a fun QB carousel, um, and you know there there would absolutely be a market for Lance too. So you know I just I, I think you know it, it is going to be very very interesting to to kind of circle back on this. Um, but yeah. we've been going for a while. I'm going to get you guys out of here um, and 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 get you off the hook here. I appreciate everything. Uh, give me give me the plugs again. There's there's more stuff that I would love to talk about in this draft. We didn't even get to the rookies, which I really really wanted to get to. But no. I mean. Um, <laughs> You know, yeah. Give me the plug again. Yeah, we're on YouTube. That's what we're doing primarily now. So Dynasty Domain, we're doing all kinds of rookie uh, buys and sells, Dynasty strategy videos, etc. So we're doing all that every single week. We're trying to do three or four videos a week. So check us out there. We're on Twitter at Domain Dynasty. We're staying pretty active on Twitter as well, and we like to piss people off on Twitter. So that kind oh, of it's a good, it's it's a good follow. The, the, yeah, 
The, I appreciate the it. Domain has been strong over the last couple of months here. You guys popped up on my radar. I said, I got I want to talk to these guys, see what's up. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate it, man. You guys are doing, doing, uh, doing good, st- good, good work over there. Likewise. Yeah. Thank and you, you guys have obviously, you know, you guys have been in it longer than us and you're a little bit older than us. So it's been nice to, you know, have a channel like that or multiple channels like that to just kind of look at and see what you guys did right. Uh, how you guys have continued to have success. So we really appreciate you having us on. We were we were surprised when we heard from you because we, you know, we're just brinky dink startup at this point. But it's been it's been really fun talking with you, man. And I again I really appreciate you having us on. It's been a blast. So. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much. All right, be sure to like, sub- subscribe, comment below, all that jazz. Um, we got profiles coming out. We got we're gonna continue with more regular in season dynasty stuff. We'll be doing you know rookie mocks and startup mocks and all that jazz. Um, So, you know, keep it locked here uh, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.